Hello, welcome to the next video of, video series on WSO2 Streaming Integrator Tooling. This video series will walk you through all the features of Streaming Integrator Tooling 1.1.0 product which we released recently. Watch our earlier videos to understand the high-level features, and how to write and test streaming applications seamlessly. Now, let's dive into understand how Streaming Integrator Tooling help developers to deploy their streaming applications easily. Once the streaming applications are tested, you can leverage our inbuilt capabilities to directly deploy streaming applications. We have several options here as, if you need to directly deploy created CD applications to streaming integrator server from the tooling, for that you can navigate to deploy menu as shown here, and select deploy to server function. Here you can select what are the CD applications need to be deployed, then configure the streaming integrator server host, port, username and password. Make sure the server is up and running and click deploy button. Also if your environment is a containerized one, like whether it's a Docker or Kubernetes environment, then you can navigate to our export functionality and create Docker and Kubernetes artifacts respectively. For example, if you navigate to Docker option, we have a wizard-like guide, which each step you are asked to provide certain configurations, like templating etc., then finally create the corresponding artifacts. Likewise you can use the Kubernetes export guide as well. So, this is the end of the video series on introduction to streaming integrator tooling. With this series we have briefly covered all the features which we provide for developers to quickly create their ETL logic and finally deploy them. Stay tuned for more in-depth and informative videos on existing and new features of streaming integrator tooling in the future.